Hello and welcome. My name is Jeremy with JM Photography and in this video we're going to talk about how to take a picture that looks like this here and add some lightsaber effects to it. So without further ado, let's get into the edit. I'm going to go through the red lightsaber effect that I did and then I'll show you some of the tweaks we had to do with the blue one uh, afterwards. Um, but the main thing you want to do with any picture before you start actually adding editing in your lightsabers is you want to clean it up in any way you need to. So if you want to see what we started off with, we had a couple lights here, a bench, some stuff in the background and a bit of a tree uh, over in the corner. So I've already cleaned all of that up and now we're ready to um, work on the picture. Now the edits we're doing are going to be non-destructive so as you can see we can turn them on and off anytime we'd like to uh, and kind of reference them at any point. Um, I've done this on a bunch of different pictures uh, for this particular couple here. Uh, they, were, they were one of our Star Wars couples that we photographed last year and um, the edits we're going to be doing today are non-destructive. Uh, they'll just like lay right on top, but I still like to complete out those background fixes beforehand before I get into the edit so I can see what the whole picture is going to look like. All right, so the first thing to do will be to add in the red lightsaber group. So we're going to call this red lightsaber or red saber. Okay. And then we're going to create a layer in there and it's going to be called red saber blur five pixels okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom into this lightsaber right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the brush key and we're gonna make sure that our brush is all the way hundred percent hardness and we'll make sure our opacity is a hundred percent and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna size this down to just about the same size as the widest portion of the lightsaber. And what we're gonna do is click, we're gonna hold the shift key in, then we're gonna click. Oh, whoops, forgot to select our color first. So we're gonna come in here and grab one of the colors off of the particular lightsaber. And because we want it to glow, we're gonna make it uh, brighter than that. So we're gonna kinda come into the range over here, just so we have our brightness in here. And then we're gonna hold the shift key in and click. And while we're still holding the shift key in, you're just gonna to go to the end of the lightsaber. And this is gonna make a nice red straight line here for us. And now what we're gonna do is just refine this a little bit. So we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna use our brush key. We're gonna make that a little bit smaller and we're gonna fill in any of the additional pieces that haven't been uh, colored in by our initial selection, just by hand. Perfect, just like that. Now we can zoom back out here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a smart object. And the reason for that is because depending on the size of the lightsaber and the size it is in the pictures, the blurs are going to change all the time. And I find that it's really good to have um, the filters applied to the smart objects so that way you can go in and adjust them as, uh, as you need throughout the process. So what we're gonna do is right click on this layer go convert to smart object and then we're going to duplicate it two times so we're going to go duplicate duplicate and then we're going to call this one here 25 pixels and call this one here 40 pixels now you don't have to do this I do this just for my own reference so when I come back to an edit maybe you know two or three months later or a year later to do it again I can quickly see in my layers what it is I had done but for you if you're just watching this video again you know you can just add in red saber copies and, and work through it that way but I'm just naming it there for visual purposes so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a um, Gaussian blur at five pixels to this layer here now now this can be done two ways. You can come into the filter gallery here, go blur and select Gaussian. I've actually got a hotkey on this because I use this on a regular basis uh, for things like frequency separation, um, editing and smoothing skin and doing things like this here. So I press com control command B on my Mac and it brings up my Gaussian blur and we're going to give it a Gaussian blur of five. And as you can see, it's just added just a little bit of fuzziness to it there. And the nice thing is, is when you have a uh, smart object, you can then apply smart filters that you can continue to manipulate as you move along. 
So we're gonna minimize this right here. This one here, we're gonna put a 25 pixel one on. I've already tested this on this particular image, so I know that these values work, but like I said, you'll have to tweak them for your own personal uh, um, uh, image and depending on how big your lightsaber is and everything like that in the image, how, good, how, how high the resolution of the image is and things like that. This one's gonna be 40. And now you can see it's created this nice fuzzy blurry kind of uh, uh, look on the lightsaber there. So now that we have that created, what we want to do is we want to make uh, a black cutout of this so that way we can work with it a little bit more. And um, what I like to do is I like to uh, group all of these together. And what I call it is base layers hide once merged to black. So I like to keep all my layers so that way if I need to go back to it at any point during the process, it's still there. So we're gonna call this the same thing. So base layers hide once uh, merged to black. Okay, and we're gonna duplicate that layer group there. And then we can hide this one here because we don't need it. And then what we need is we need a black background. So you can come in here, you can select solid color. It's gonna grab the most recent color or the color that you have on top. So you can just go right over to the corner on black and go okay. And then you can put it below this here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge this. And so that can be done by pressing Command E or if you'd like to do it through your mouse, you can go merge layers. And that's just the ones that are selected. Now, once that's done there, we're gonna turn this to screen mode, okay? And uh, let's see here. And what screen mode is gonna do is it's going to, um, uh, what's the words I'm looking for? It, it's going to take all the black and basically get rid of it and leave just the colored layers there. Um, but as you can see, some of the lightsaber is coming through from before. Now with the red lightsaber, I actually didn't really mind it that much. Um, so I'm gonna show you the finished lightsaber so you can see what that looks like. And, and you can see it actually added like a really nice kind of look and feel and kind of like some edging to it. Um, but on the blue lightsaber, it didn't work out so much. So I'll show you what to do if you're not liking the way that's uh, kind of coming through. So now that we have our base layer right here uh, for our lightsaber, um, what we're gonna wanna do is add in some adjustment layers just to make this really kind of stand out. and. Uh, as always, I like the ability to be able to go back and re-edit this at any time or kind of make adjusts and tweaks depending on how things are looking in the actual uh, final image. And so because of that, I'm gonna make this into a smart object and therefore apply some smart filters to it. So what we're gonna do is come over here and we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna convert it to a smart object. And then I'm going to go to image adjustments and we're going to go to curves. So once we're in curves, we're going to select our red channel because this is going to be a red lightsaber and we're going to pull this in like this here and it's going to give it a nice red hue to it and you can kind of adjust it. If you pull this down here, you can see it kind of tightens it up on the inside, pulling it out here, thickens it up on the outside and I actually really like the look that this is giving it right here and I think that looks fantastic. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and apply a hue saturation layer. So we're going to come into our image adjustments, hue saturation and what we're going to do is we're going to colorize this. So once you colorize this, it's going to apply like a coloring and a tone to it um, and uh, and you can kind of like adjust it accordingly to like kind of what works for you. But I'm going to take this all the way over to here. You can see you can kind of change the color of the lightsaber as you kind of move through. more. Uh, so sometimes I'll colorize it, sometimes I won't depending on how it's turning out. Um, I quite like the red that's right here uh, and this should look fairly similar to the red that we have 
uh, up on our original lightsaber here. So you can see it looks like it's a bit orangier, uh, orangier of a look here. And this is what's nice is you can kind of always go back in and readjust this accordingly. So uh, we're going to get this a little bit more into the yellowy area. There we go. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. Perfect. And so now we can kind of move out. And so now we've got this nice like lightsaber look to it compared to what we had before with just the standard uh, toy lightsaber that was sitting there. And now what we're gonna do is, so I think in this case, if, if I wasn't going to be adding like, say an electric look to this particular lightsaber, then what I would do to fix the background on this is I would just clear those out and leave the bottom blur on it because you can see it just fills it in nicely and then provides it with a nice solid look. In this case though I like the texture so we're going to leave the texture in there. We're going to minimize this right here. We can hide that because we don't need the base layers. Let's put those back on and hide. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit of electricity to this lightsaber. So what did I end, what I ended up doing is you can add some glow and sparks and stuff like this on this, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some sparks on the lightsaber itself at this time. So got some I got a reference file here that I downloaded. So I have a reference file here that I downloaded off uh, the internet and uh, it's it's got kind of a neat little texturing uh, to it and we're going to use this as our overlay and so we're going to close this out and all we're going to do is just drag this right on top here. It's going to drop it onto our image and then what we're going to do is we're going to pick screen on this or mm, yeah screen is what we would like. Yeah multiply is not what we want either. Yeah. So you can kind of test out some of the different uh, uh, blend modes and see which one looks perfect. This screen usually works because if you're getting something with black and then you know some sort of coloring on it, it'll actually remove all the black there. So I like this a lot. It's come in as a smart object, which is excellent. And then what we can do is we can kind of turn this onto its angle here. That's looking about right there. Still a little bit too, too big, but not much. Oh, I think that looks pretty solid right there. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come in and refine this a little bit here by adding a masking layer on it. And uh, we'll pull out our brush. We're gonna have it at 100%. We'd like it to be a little bit softer than, uh, than normal here. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start taking off pieces of this that make it look unrealistic. And so, I'll leave that there. And I'm just doing this by eye, by what I think kind of will make it look more real. And once I got the majority of the, I guess, outliers off of the uh, the lightsaber here, uh, what I'm going to end up doing is uh, is fine tuning it just a little bit further uh, by dropping the opacity on my uh, on my brush. I think that's looking really good. So what we can do is. Uh, drop this down to about 20% and we're going to come in extra close now just make sure that there's nothing on here that that doesn't look like it it doesn't belong so remember this is just a very light detailing on the lightsaber itself like it's it's not uh, it's not meant to be overpowering or anything like that. So I think that's all looking really good there. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to apply a uh, hue adjustment layer to this. So we'll go images adjustment. 
make sure you're selected on the actual layer you want to change. I'm going to do a here's hue saturation and this one we are going to colorize. Because um, when we colorize this, what it's going to do is it's going to enable us to match it to the color so it looks like it's actually a part of the lightsaber. Um, and we can kind of deepen up the color there a bit more. Right about there, I think that's looking really good. And then it's a smart adjustment layer filter so that way we can go in and adjust this if we don't like the way it looks later. And then we can come back out and you can see uh, when as you kind of move in closer, it's got this nice little detailing on the actual lightsaber itself. Now from here, the next two steps are, uh, they take a bit of time. And so what I wanna do is I just wanna kind of, uh, to speed up this tutorial here, I just kinda wanna talk you through what it is I'm doing on them, just because there's a lot of finessing around with them to uh, build them in. And what that is is adding in some glows. So we're gonna add this uh, this layer back on that I had made before that, the, that was my original layer. We're gonna take those two pieces off and you can see that the sparks are on there and that I did a very similar job uh, as we had just uh, talked about there. Now now that that's all, all that's on there, the next thing you wanna add in is some glow on the hand and how we create this particular layer here. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different duplications of it and you can kind of shade it in as you go depending on how realistic you want it to look. But you gotta remember that this here here is casting light upwards towards the hand and so therefore the light is going to hit on the edges of the hand and adding in this little bit of extra glow along the sheath of the uh, of the lightsaber onto his hand is going to just make it look that much more realistic and so how we create this particular layer here we're just going to turn this off you're just going to create like a blank layer and uh, these particular layers I believe I created with an overlay whereas some of them you might want to use soft light. It'll just really depend on how the glow looks. So how you create this is you can type in the word glow. And you're going to grab your brush tool and you can grab your same color and I usually move over onto something that's very very vibrant and bright along the right hand side here. And what we're going to do is we're going to expand this out here and now we don't want it in at 20% or anything like that. We want this to come in at a full 100%, something like that. And uh, I like to have my uh, hardness down at zero. And so we're, we're gonna paint it in like that. It's gonna create this nice little glow. You can see it's kind of hitting the edge of his hand. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over to overlay. And you can see how it makes a nice uh, uh, deep reddening on there. Soft light is the other option and I found that when I was doing the blue lightsaber that made more sense but with this one here I much prefer the overlay look. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna add a masking layer to this. And so once you add the masking layer in you're just going to slowly paint away anything that doesn't belong. So on his jacket, on his hand, and all around. And eventually what you're going to end up with is something that looks like this here. So I'm going to turn that one off here. Um, you can see that uh, if you add this in, I've added in a mask that basically takes it off all the major areas in here. And then what I did was I duplicated it and then reduced it in certain areas. So you can see that this one, uh, sorry, this one right here also has some additional masking on it. Once I was done with that, I put it into a group because I did notice that there was some fringing coming through on her dress and stuff like that. And so what I did was I masked out everything else and just left in just the hand and the saber sheath because I wanted to make sure that everything was gone. And so that's why I didn't want to like waste your time watching this and go through all of these little steps. But that's essentially what I did to create the glow and the look of the glow. So now that we have that on there, you need to add uh, some glow on his body. And this is done the exact same way. Cause you gotta remember, so this is casting red light up this way, but it's also casting it onto this, this piece right here. And so basically went through the same steps and just created some glow on her dress. So that's how I created the red lightsaber. Let's take a look at how we create the blue lightsaber. So I'm gonna just delete this layer because I don't need it anymore. And we're gonna take a look at the blue lightsaber and how we built that 
uh, from start to finish. So you can see yeah, we've got uh, our standard set of layers just like before and because the picture hasn't changed in pixel density or anything like that, the exact same 5, 25 and 40 blur will work for creating the base of the lightsaber. And what I did to select the color of it is I just went in and grabbed this and then selected a brighter version of the color. Then we duplicated these layers, merged them onto a black and white layer. And I wanna show you what this actually looks like once it's been merged. So you can see that with the uh, blue lightsaber, you can see this a lot more, and it's a lot more well-defined than this particular lightsaber was, because you can see now that we've added all the effects on it, you can't even really see all the different layers of that particular lightsaber. But over here you can, like it's pretty offensive, um, and I'm not a big fan of that. So all you have to do is come back in, and this is why it's great to keep this particular set of layers, is all you have to do is add that in, it fills in the background, and now you've got a nice solid blue lightsaber. And we've done the exact same thing as we did before we added in our smart filters. You come in for your hue saturation. You can see that on this particular one we did colorize it and uh, added a little bit more saturation and then just selected the color of blue hue that we wanted to have. And then with the curves, with the curves, instead of it being on the uh, the, the uh, red channel like what it was before we were on the blue channel and you just come in here and we added two points on there to kind of give it this look and feel and so just so you can see what it looks like so that it's kind of like a whiter kind of look to the lightsaber here and then as we add the curves and then the hue adjustment it comes into that nice blue color um, that was Luke's lightsaber so we've got uh, we've got our merged layer. After that, there's still some glow that, uh, that that is required. Now I felt like this particular lightsaber looked a little on the blue side. So just like before, we used soft light it, instead of instead of the overlay mode, and created a nice overlay with a blue hue that just gives it a bit more blue tone to it and makes it I feel like stand out a little bit more in the photo. And then just like before, I put some blue on her hands, but. The thing is, is this image is quite cold because it was after the sun had set and so we were entering into the blue hour and so her skin is quite cold and so is the sheath of this and so as I added blue in, it just didn't look right. So I opted not to do that, but there would be still a blue cast on her dress. So we add that in with a little bit of blue and now you end up having this beautiful image with lightsabers that are turned on. And so I'll show you the before and we add the red lightsaber on and the green light or the blue lightsaber and that is how you do this edit. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to our channel for more edits just like this and I will catch you in the next video. Till next time. Cheers.